Today I'm standing in front of Club 421, the spot where I saw Billy Holiday in the early 1950s. And I want to talk a bit about the history of this great area. Like the hub of a great wheel, Philadelphia has historically been the center of a much larger cultural region. In the late 1940s, places like Kentucky Avenue, Atlantic City, the Fantasy Lounge on Chambers Street in Trenton, and the East Side Club of Wilmington were frequent stomping grounds for musicians gigging in and out of the city of Philadelphia. The frenzy of the musical activity in the tri-state area was so great that musicians from all over the United States were drawn here to this special place. Drummer Mickey Roker once told me that when he arrived here from his native Florida, he found a great spirit, a cooperation among musicians, a camaraderie that he still can't explain, but uh, he found it here. And this feeling is still here. It inspires old heads to mentor the young and celebrates the talent of a favorite son or daughter and revels in the stories of back in the day. But most importantly, this local spirit lends a hand when someone is in need. Jazz Bridge follows this grand tradition of supporting the arts through great service. Jazz Bridge is a nonprofit organization committed to assisting jazz and blues vocalists and musicians in the Lower Delaware Valley who are in crisis. Founded by dedicated musicians and jazz fans, Jazz Bridge addresses the needs of the music makers once the spotlight is turned off. Some people assume that the jazz artists who move them with their skillful performances on stage have offstage lives that financially reflect their creative talents, but they don't make a lot of money. And according to a 2004 NEA study, 66% of professional jazz musicians earn less than $7,000 a year. It's a constant struggle to even cover basic needs like food, rent, and health care. Jazz Bridge, as a nonprofit organization, is extremely valuable, especially in this particular field of the arts, jazz. We, in most cases, as individuals in jazz, start at a very early age and are fueled with an ecstasy that can be not prepared or recreated by any other form of creative productivity. What takes place is addiction to jazz itself, spontaneity. We move through life with this priority always at first level. And what makes it most difficult for us as individuals in our culture and society is the lack of professional support for this particular walk of life. To interface and interact and, um, and provide what's necessary for each other with no questions asked. And that's what I think the bridge is all about. We form partnerships with individuals, businesses, and organizations who want to give back to a community that has touched them so deeply throughout the years by providing services to them, uh, either pro bono or low cost. Services like doctors, lawyers, accountants, and business owners like optometrist Tom Leonard. I'm an eye doctor here in Philadelphia, and um, I think it's somewhat ironic and, and maybe even a little amusing that um, someone as musically challenged as godforsakenly tone deaf as I am was asked to be involved in Jazz Bridge. And um, yet when you think about it, um, like everyone else, I love music. Which brings us around to those, those few, those, those blessed few people amongst us that can truly make beautiful music. And uh, I feel that they should be uh, cherished by the rest of us. That's why I'm thankful that I can get involved with Jazz Bridge. I can help these musicians, I can examine their eyes, provide them with a pair of glasses, and maybe in some small, small but to me significant way, I become connected to their music that way. Jazz Bridge raises money through fundraising events, community outreach, benefit concerts, and by selling merchandise like t-shirts and our very special Jazz Bridge calendar. 
It's an annual calendar that features jazz and blues musicians and vocalists from the local area. We are very grateful to these wonderful musicians and performers who donate their time and their talent to help jazz bridge and each other. Jazz artists are individuals, but the music is also a collaborative art form. Jazz Bridge is very close to my heart. They have been so kind to me. I was presented in a solo piano concert by Jazz Bridge. And this, again, a reach out to me and incorporating what I can share in music with people who have listening ears and who have the hearts to dare to care. Jazz Bridge is a gem. Suzanne Cloud, co-founder of Jazz Bridge, has been producing jazz concerts in her town for the past six years. By reaching out to community leaders, she's brought the arts to her town and at the same time brought income to musicians and to Jazz Bridge. Jazz Bridge is now providing opportunities for anyone in the tri-state area who wants to bring jazz music in a concert series to their own town or neighborhood. By doing this, we can revitalize local communities and nurture the art of jazz and the musicians who make it while providing a funding source for Jazz Bridge so we can help the musicians in need. Everybody wins. The presence of the art community in this building has been of great importance to really furthering our efforts toward revitalizing and restoring our whole town. Having jazz musicians here has been key. It's been going on for several years now and I've watched the audience increase. There's been people from Philadelphia, from all over, traveling even an hour or more just to get here to be part of that jazz experience. It's right in the middle of our town, in our community center, and it's been a great benefit to restoring the town and bringing more of the arts community here. Having jazz musicians here on a monthly basis, a regular basis, on a weekday night has been great to help bring more people into the downtown. The restaurants are flourishing and downtown businesses are doing well. Volunteers are the foundation of Jazz Bridge. As a matter of fact, we're an all-volunteer organization. We really appreciate the time and commitment of the people who help us spread the word of Jazz Bridge by participating in our benefits and all our community outreach events, who design flyers and brochures and pamphlets, and who give us information and assistance, and also who provide assistance for our musicians. Hi, my name is Elegant, the name rhymes with DuPont, and I'm a jazz vocalist in the Delaware Valley, here in Philly in particular. And uh, my husband is Leon Mitchell. He is the musical director for the Philadelphia Legends of Jazz Orchestra. And we are both volunteers for the Jazz Bridge Project. As a vocalist, I have volunteered for Jazz Bridge for their All-Star Jazz Jams. As a volunteer, you don't necessarily have to be a musician or a vocalist. You can volunteer in other ways. For instance, I have uh, helped out at the uh, front door, sold tickets. I've also designed the uh, first uh, flyer, brochure, the poster for the uh, Jazz Bridges uh, Jazz Jam, the first all-star jazz jam we did several years ago. Um, Leon and I also donate food for the Jazz Jams. Um, the, last, uh, the last one we did a, a um, vegetarian spaghetti and meat sauce and we donated cinnamon buns. People like the little cinnamon buns. And also I have uh, sold t-shirts and handed out brochures and flyers for the tables that Jazz Bridge sponsors at different events around, around the area. I urge anyone who is interested in jazz um, to support these jazz musicians and support Jazz Bridge. What it's doing is very, very important. And uh, be a volunteer like the rest of us. Thanks. Jazz Bridge serves a purpose that no one else in the greater Philadelphia metropolitan area is addressing, responding to the needs of jazz and blues musicians and singers in times of crisis. These musicians have a gift, the kind that need to be nurtured and treasured by the entire community. Jazz Bridge is the resource to help and give back to those who have contributed so much to our culture, who express through their music what we feel inside. Please check out our website, www.jazzbridge.org. And if you are a jazz or blues musician or singer in crisis, or know of anybody who is, please call us at 215-517-8337. All services are confidential.
Thank you. Culture is a big business in Philadelphia. It's not just about uh, performances and entertainment and, and, uh, and pretty pictures. 31,000 people in Philadelphia depend on their livelihoods uh, for what goes on in the art and culture community. I've heard this expression that is in the Philadelphia water. Off the cuff, that's jazz. <laughs>